Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to make this flicker effect in DaVinci Resolve just using my free to download plugin and some built-in DaVinci Resolve tools. If you would like to download my free flicker effect, follow the link in the description below, that you can also download a full flicker effects pack which is on sale right now. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and make this cool effect together. So here is a video of the rapper at night and it's a small edit of the same rapper with 4 clips on the timeline. If you already installed my free flicker effect, you should see it in the effects window which is called flicker effect free. So in this tutorial we will use basically these two effects applied to the background behind the wrapper and two native DaVinci Resolve video transitions called smooth cut and block glitch. And by the way, I made a cool video using the smooth cut transition so go check it out if you didn't see it. I'm gonna start from creating a compound clip to the first video because flicker effect works better with compound clips and adjustment layers. Next we need to cut this clip in the middle to apply a smooth cut transition. Then drag and drop flicker effect on the second half of the clip. Let's play it back. Cool, now hold Option and Alt key to duplicate our second clip, disable clip below, select the top one and go to Fusion page. Select Media in one node, Shift space bar and type Magic Mask. Choose Mode to Better. Now select your object with the dropper. Hold Option key to delete parts of the video you don't want and press Track. Now go back to edit page and you can see that our wrapper is already separated from the background. Next we need to create a cool animation of this wrapper that comes in as a transition. It will be just a basic animation with zoom and position, so go to inspector tab and add keyframes where you want to end this animation. Now go back where the animation starts and change position and zoom. So the wrapper is coming from below. like this. Open keyframe editor which is available in Resolve 20. Let's select the spline that you want to adjust and then go to spline editor. Select keyframes and let's ease them. So here is the animation and to make it look better let's add a directional blur to it. Go to end of animation and set blur to 0, go back to start and set it to 1 and change blur angle as you like. Now let's create a compound clip. and make two cuts to this clip. Reapply smooth cut. Now let's add a flicker effect to our first piece of a background clip. Select Trim tool and shift a middle piece of this clip to the left and shift a third piece also to the left. Now apply one more flicker effect to the third clip and let's make a smooth cut in between these clips. So it will create this cool displays effect of the background behind our wrapper. And also apply smooth cut to the clip of the wrapper. Let's disable the top clip to see the full animation. Ok, now extend the next clip from the top, make a duplicate of it, select top clip and go to fusion page to apply the magic mask. Shift space bar, apply magic mask. Select a wrapper with a dropper.
choose mode to better and press track. Let's make a cool animation to our wrapper so he flies in. Create a keyframes to zoom in position in the end, go back to beginning and zoom your object. Go to keyframe editor and ease your keyframes for smooth animation. Looks nice. Now add a block glitch to it. Ok, let's make two cuts to our background clips to create a displacement flicker effect. Create compound clip. Make two cuts. Apply smooth cut to the beginning. Select trim tool and trim second and third clip to the left. And apply smooth cut transition and flicker effect again to these clips. Now go to the next clip, duplicate it and apply a magic mask to the top clip. Let's make the same animation to the wrapper by keyframe and zoom in position. Go to keyframe editor and ease your keyframes. Create compound clip of the background. Make three cuts. Apply smooth cut to the top clip. Actually, let's apply block glitch instead. And apply smooth cut transition and flicker effect again to these clips. Trim your other clips to the left to create time displacements. And also apply the most cuts to these clips. And it looks pretty cool. Now let's watch from the beginning. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more content. And if you would like to support this channel, please visit my store to download some cool presets for DaVinci Resolve. See you soon!